Hey folks, this is going to be my uh, Halloween series of videos where I try some Halloween type snacks and tell you a story, different stories about Halloween uh, for my life, uh, working at a haunt, growing up, all kinds of stories. Just fill a whole, you know, month of Halloween. I'm all sometimes be going to haunts or whatever, but We'll see what we get. Right now, I just grabbed some candy corn. Not Jelly Belly is the candy corn I prefer. I do actually, you know, I said I like candy corn. And here it is. It's a good, tasty version of candy corn. So that's it. Mmm. Very sweet. Has kind of that weird... Doesn't have the waxy taste that cheap candy corn has or... You know, generic candy corn. It's just a kind of a caramel flavor, maybe? Slightly? Whatever that flavor is, it's a candy corn flavor. So there's my review of a Halloween treat. Let's talk about growing up. I was pretty young when I... I mean, of course, when I was young, when I was young, <laughs> um, yeah, I think somewhere around second grade and earlier, I used to like to make uh, models. And I was born in 63, so these came out in the 60s. And one of the model series that I had to have were the Aurora Monsters. And they were all based on the Universal Monster series. And I had all of them, I built all of them. Um, over time, they broke, bought the new releases, built them, painted them better, stuff like that. And also, I remember in second grade, um, one of our assignments was to uh, write down the top five favorite TV shows, top four, whatever it was. I don't know, it was a second grade assignment. But I remember it pretty well. And I wrote, I know I wrote Brady Bunch. Because I watched Brady Bunch. I might have wrote Batman. I bet I wrote Speed Racer. I know I wrote Kimba. And I also wrote down Twilight Zone and Creature Features. And looking back, at seven years old, that's a weird eclectic list of shows to be enamored by. Um... Creature Features was a Saturday night show uh, that showed two horror movies with the host. It was like Elvira or whatever you had in your city. Um, they were around everywhere. We had Bob Wilkins. Uh, may he rest in peace. He was a wonderful host. Never got to meet him. I did meet John Stanley. He was the replacement. Um, but Anyways, um, I mean, he would show a couple horror shows, usually old Universal Monster movies, but whatever they had, cheesy movies, they made jokes and stuff, and I got it. I liked it. To the point where I would sit there when, on Saturday night, my brother, who's a little younger than me, and my mom would go in one room and watch their regular TV shows, but I had to go to another room and watch my monster movies. And I was talking to my mom. I go, Mom, why would you let me sit alone in a room when I was seven watching monster movies? And she said, because you liked them. <laughs> that was it. And I said, that's kind of a weird thing. I was, no, it's not. I was a good parent. I let you watch the shows you liked. <laughs> like, okay, Mom, you were a great parent. Uh, she really was. Still is. And, uh, so I would watch all those movies and it had an early influence on me. All the horror stuff, all the, I mean, I'm not a deep cut guy like uh, Jason or, uh, oh, a lot of guys that go into his chat that know, I don't know, or Queenie Todd's a deep cut. I, I know the Universal stuff. I know the biggies from the 80s, but Universe, I mean, I know that old stuff. Um, Never studied, I just watched it and loved it. So that's about it. That's my kind of early beginnings 
I was not a horror nut. I was a horror fan. I didn't have to seek it all out. I just watched it on TV. I would watch TV Guide, look for the next shows, mark them off. It was Godzilla week. I mean, and they ran in series. Um, they would do a whole bunch of Universal Monsters. I'm like, ooh, it's Dracula. Oh, it's Frankenstein and, you know, Wolfman and Mummy. And I'd watch all those. Then the next month, it might have been all Godzilla movies. And then, it, you know, sometimes it was just obscure stuff that I didn't care about. Um, you know, I don't even know what they were. They were just usually just bad horror because he could make jokes about it and all that stuff. And I didn't, you know, I didn't get it. I, I liked monsters. So that was me growing up. We'll hear uh, about me going to haunted houses and a wonderful trick-and-treat story that I love. But this is the first installment of Halloween Storytime with a Treat. All right, thanks, folks.